Here we go, people. Another PS4 Tournament 1 B Fighters Only fight. And now we have Bruce JKD going up against Cali Kid 301, big boy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparks. Let's see what we get out of these two awesome subscribers. We're seeing another Dustin Poirier and Anthony Pettis sighting, man. And um, that's okay. You know what? Those are two good guys to pick. If I was in this tournament, I would definitely use Pettis, to be honest. But let's see how these guys do. And I like how they're not just fighting in a phone booth and we've seen a lot of that <laughs> and those make for great fights but looks like they're being technical I like Cali Kid's style here though showing some nice little boxing and Bruce is using those kicks and that's good when you got Pettis it's good to use those kicks man nice Cali Kid showing some tight combos. Nice. Oh, nice little duck by Bruce. Seems like they're both so evenly matched. Both guys not trying to do too much, but they're landing. They're landing and then they're resetting. And we saw the fights in the first tournament. There was no resetting, man. It was full throttle. Waste that stamina like you're pouring <laughs> coke out of a bottle, man. It <laughs> just drains it right out. <laughs> well, this is nice to see. It, 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 it's nice to see these guys being a little technical, being a little patient, but that's how it is. When you fight in a tournament for the first time, you really get nervous. You grab that control a little tighter, your palms sweat, your heart races just a little bit more than a regular online rank match. So maybe this could be a feeling out process. Especially when they know they're gonna, they're gonna dance at least one more time. It's good to just gauge what your opponent's about. And both of these guys seem to be doing that. They seem to be just testing the waters, man. Just dipping their toes in the water, just checking the heat, man. Isn't that the best feeling in the world when you go to a pool and you anticipate it to being cold and you put your foot in and it's nice and warm? Great, one of the greatest feelings, man. <laughs> totally random. But right now, I don't know, who's winning this round? It's even. It's really even. And even though I, I, I'm noticing like Cali Kid's being a little more reserved, but his stamina is lower. Just slightly though. But Bruce is being very calculated in his strikes as well. Nice, good combo. Nice, mixing it up to the legs, going down low. Oh! And you know what? That is going to win him the round. If there was any debate, if there was any discussion about who won that round, gotta give it to Bruce. Channeling his inner Bruce Lee and winning that round. But you know what, I think we're gonna see a little more action when it comes to Cali Kid's stand-up game. I think he was being a little reserved there. Just testing things out, like I said. And now we're gonna see him lay things out. And the thing is, in a three-round fight, oh wow, what head movement by Bruce. But in a three round fight, when you drop that first round, you really gotta work in that second round because it's not a five rounder where you have room to make up rounds. It's only three quick rounds. You lose the first, you lose the second, you gotta win the third by stoppage. You don't wanna go into that third round knowing you've dropped the first two rounds. So Cali Kid's opening up a little bit. Wow. Look at Bruce go. Oh! And you know what, man? Guys like to duck on those kicks up high, but the one thing that could really stifle your opponent is the axe kick to the head. Um, I know 
Nick Diaz has it. So if your opponent does that, you just hammer time with the foot right on top of the head. And that will counter when people, you know, I mean, that's the best recipe when people like to duck your high strikes. Hit him up with an axe kick. And that axe kick can hit you up top, hit you down low. The only way to stop that is to block or back away. Something interesting to um, to think about. But I don't think Nick is uh, B plus and below. So you can't use him in this tournament. But who else has axe kick? I don't know. Let me know in the comments area. But Bruce is, you know, he's pulling away in this fight. And let's see if Cali Kid can adapt because his conservative boxing style usually works against most guys, but it's not working against Bruce. Oh, that was risky to do, knowing that Cali likes to duck those high kicks, but he didn't see it coming. I like what Bruce is doing, though. Bruce is going up high, going down low, then he's, t he's taking those legs. Oh, a front kick to the face, and then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like a breakdancing move, that cartwheel kick. And I love how he's mixing it up. Nice. He's going down low. Why not go to the body? And once guys get like this, like how Bruce is, where he's going up high, down low, that's when it's the beginning of the end for most fighters because it's so hard to predict, so hard to deal with. But look how he's switching gears here and he's taking the legs out. Wow. It's forcing Cali Kid to switch stands. And I don't know, is he comfortable in this stance? Or is he primarily a southpaw? All these questions. Oh, and he's rocked again. Oh. Maybe he's going to do the one two high kick. But clearly, Cali Kid is in a bit of trouble people let's be honest he needs to stop Bruce here in this third round in order to have some sort of chance at winning this fight and what I'm seeing is I'm seeing Cali Kid doing far too much watching you know what I mean he's just letting Bruce get off yeah he's gotta be Take some chances. I would take some chances right here. Don't worry about getting KO'd because if it goes to a decision, you're gonna lose. Oh. Maybe Bruce needs to do that one-two spin a Rooney. Oh, he seems to be telegraphing that spin kick a little bit. He wants that highlight reel KO. Oh, nice sidestep. Callie's gotta put up all the tricks and really figure something out here. He's running out of time. He's running out of time. Nice. Oh. oh, nice duck under. That was one of the most used moves. Oh, oh. Now that counts as, does that count as a drop? But that was one of the most used moves, the duck under uppercut for the patch. But, um, oh, wow. Wow, he really caught him right there. Be careful, people, when you're sidestep. You could sidestep and block your head, you know. They added that. Oh, he should have kept on going. Now Callie's letting it all hang out, but his head is blinking. Oh man, this is the beginning of the end. Oh, deadly finish. Big finish for Bruce. Wow. You know, I know the knockouts in UFC 2 were amazing, especially the ragdolling was so amazing, but in UFC 3, they have some pretty sick KOs. Oh, especially when you really wind up like that. But it's one nothing, Bruce. Let's see now if Cali Kid could rebound, and I'm hoping he's gonna be more aggressive. Wow, nine stuns and wobbles. Am I reading that right? Oh man, I just need a breather right here. But yeah, let's keep it right here and see what they decide. They're moving, it seems, to welterweight. 
Ooh, Santiago Ponzinibbio. And some people would say that he's like a, one of the best dark horses in this game. Well, is he going to roll with Hoist Gracie? That would be amazing. Go with Bruce Lee. You are Bruce. A lot of thought going into this pick. And this is crucial, too, because, you know, if it... The series evens up. That's when things change. Momentum starts changing. And it's really hard to decide because you can't pick those A-class fighters. Is he going with Mickey Gall? Johnny Hendricks. Oh, a lot of thought, man. <laughs> you guys are... The anticipation is just killing me right here. Oh. Yes. Go with Perry. Is he going? Yeah, he's going with Perry. Oh, this is going to be a good battle right here. They almost look like brothers, don't they? The models are very similar, but here we go. We're going to keep it here. Man, this is just going to be a classic showdown because we've, been, we've not seen these guys before. We haven't seen a Perry sighting, I don't believe, in any of the tournaments. We haven't seen Santiago, so... This will be this will be a lot of fun. I want to tell you guys while we're waiting. I did. Um, I'm starting to post videos on my secondary channel, some Red Dead Redemption 2, just funny videos. I'm not actually doing a walkthrough, but check that out, man. Subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on my first video. I posted my first Red Dead Redemption video, and um, I had such a great time doing it. But yeah, check it out. Let your friends know. It seems like everybody's playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So hopefully I can get some subscribers on my other channel. And that would be awesome, man. More videos to come for sure. So here we go. Ponzinibbio, his model. He doesn't even look like he belongs in this weight class. He's a beast. And Perry's got that heavy haymaker style. You know what I mean? He's got some good boxing. And Perry's just, in real life, he's so much fun to watch, man. He really goes and gets it. I want to see Perry versus, versus Kobe Covington, but guarantee Kobe would just take him down and keep him down for three rounds. I want to see Woodley versus Kobe Covington. Come on, when's that going to happen? But right now we're we're still seeing Cali kid being conservative and there you go. That didn't work in that first fight and I think he needs to go get it a little bit. He's doing a lot of watching. Do you agree with me? Or do you think I'm just being a little too critical on Cali kid? Like you know Cali kid's got it in him. Look at that. He's got great combos, but he's just not pulling the trigger. Like, I'm not saying he's Francis nagano us, or, uh, <laughs> was that against Derek Lewis? But, um, he just seems to be doing too much watching. I know he's looking for openings, and Bruce isn't giving it to him. There you go. But let's hope... Yeah, see, I like what he's doing right there. Let's hope he puts it into another gear, because his tournament life is on the line. And in my opinion, Cali Kid is is good, man. He's just got to <laughs> flick the safety off of his arsenal and get firing back. Huge kick misses. Nice straight right, Lance. The thing I like about Bruce is that when you start hitting him, then he'll sway out of nowhere and really hurt you with some of these shots. Some of these guys, man, they're really good at that. Especially the top tier guys are so good at understanding when you're going to throw um, a straight or a jab and knowing when to sway and then hitting you up with a nice little counter punch like that. Dipping and going for an uppercut. I haven't even, I don't even do that. I got to figure out how to do that. Nice little dip, little dip a rainy. Well 
And yeah, another close round, but I give it to Bruce. Too much watching, Callie. Come on, man. <laughs> Everybody's... <laughs> There's a lot of people pulling for you, man. Not just people in California, but you got this. So again, that whole mentality of a short three-round fight just wears on you when you know you won. I mean, you know you lost the first fight, and then you know you lost the first round. You've got to pick it up. And do you think maybe he's a little gun-shy knowing that Bruce has that slip in him? And he could rock you in a heartbeat, but how are you going to know? There it is again. And it seems like Bruce has gauged Cali Kid's timing, and he just seems to be a lot more comfortable inside the virtual octagon, and he's rocked him again with that same strike. Ooh, I didn't know he had, I didn't know Perry had that. McGregor has that. I love doing a jab and then that kick to the body and then switching it up and going jab and kick to the head. And Cali Kid's rocked again. But again, I don't think Perry has the greatest stamina. I could be wrong. And Bruce knows that. Bruce knows he's got to just pace himself a little bit. He's won the first. He's winning the second. And if he could just pour it on a little bit here, he could jog around the octagon in the third round, knowing he's going to win two rounds to love, or two rounds to one. And there you go, Callie. Nice. Again, it's technical. It's technical battle, but Callie's not letting his punches go, man. Like, if I'm in his shoes here, I would just, when Perry comes at him like that, plant and go for a nice little three-piece. Jab, uppercut, hook, or even straight uppercut, straight. Something to get Bruce to back up a little bit, but it seems like Bruce, oh, there you go. And finally, Bruce is backing up a bit. And Cali Kid's gaining some momentum. He's gotta keep it up. Oh, and Bruce just got that stun right back. And it, it, it's, <laughs> this is really close to call this round. But Cali Kid's got to go, man. I would just, I would push a little bit the last few seconds here. Try to get another rock and, and solidify this round. Uh, but yeah, that's I guess the theme of this matchup is a little too conservative. When is it the point where you're saying you're saying you're just doing a little too much watching, spectating a little too much? And I feel that's what Cali Kid's doing, and now he has one round to try to stay alive in this tournament. And maybe we may see Bruce. I don't think Bruce has it in him to be a little too conservative. Bruce is looking to take heads out, man. See that? The Cali kid's got to go. We haven't seen any clinching. We haven't seen any takedowns or anything like that. You never know, maybe Cali Kid has better ground game than Bruce. Not testing it out. There he goes. See, that's too much watching. You got openings. There you go. Especially now, you're seeing Bruce trying to go for that finish. Always oh, rock them. I would. After Bruce has done these crazy long combos, you gotta go. There you go. 
Oh, wow, and Bruce stuns his leg. Bruce is really fighting a smart fight, in my opinion. This guy is really putting together two solid showings here. Is his leg jacked, too? Both guys' legs are jacked. But he is being very meticulous with his strikes. Look at that. Going with some quick strikes, then with a crazy heavy <laughs> haymaker action. And Bruce is winning this round now. Cali Kid, man, you got to go for it. Oh, he's rocked again. Oh, and rocked again. And he's hanging on a thread. Perry's got dynamite in his hands, and it's over. Bruce moving on to the second round. Oh, respect the Cali Kid. I know he had it in him. I know you have it in him, big man. Just got to let things flow a little bit. Relax out there, but Bruce is a beast. And he's moving on to the second round. Congratulations, big guy. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this showdown. Was Callie being a little too cautious in his strikes? Or was Bruce just that good, man? That's the question. Let me know in the comments area. Anyhow, this is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.